Hello, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Back and Flow CSV Export API. I simply need to check the box for the API in my Back and Flow project, then click on Download API Bundle. Then we open up the zip file and we can see the CSV export here. To add this to our UI, we can use a no code builder like Flutterflow and simply upload our API. Let's say we want to export a CSV of the most recent customers. So we go to the endpoint. We can see that all of the variables have already been defined. And the collection name in this case would be the users. We can include field names like name and created time, order by created time, and limit it to, let's say, 10 rows. Test it out. Great, the call succeeded. The API call in this case is a URL that automatically downloads our CSV, but we don't see the full response here because the URL is the raw body text. But if we add it to our app, we can see how it works. Let's add the action of the API call. We select on the CSV export API and define the same variables like we did before. The collection name is the users. The fields are the name and the created time, order by created time, and limit to 10. Let's also name the action output so that we can then launch this URL that's in the API response. We don't need these conditionals. So we add an action to launch the URL. And the URL is from the API response variable. And we select the raw body text. Now let's go to test mode. And we can simply reload our app here. So if we download the CSV, the file is automatically downloaded. If we open it up, we can see our 10 users with the name and the created time, and it's ordered by the created time field. So this process was super easy, just took a few minutes, and now we've added CSV functionality to our app. Thanks so much for watching.